Eliza, tell me a little bit about the friend you brought with you today. This is Blanche. <laughs> she is my daughter, my long-haired dachshund, half chihuahua. That would actually be horrific if I gave birth and this is what it looked like, but <laughs> this is my dog Blanche. She goes everywhere. And you were just telling me that she comes on stage with you. She does. We have a bit that we do, um, and uh, it's a little nod to the SPCA Sarah McLaughlin commercial that's on TV where the, all the sad animals show the little sad faces. And yeah. I think it brings some joy to some people. Oh, well, thank you for bringing her by. You're she's also just going to lick that chair. Right? She's just, <laughs> that's fine. But you do what you need to do. Take care of that for That's you. fine. That's fine. I also want to talk a little bit about Excused. I love this show. I think it's hilarious. Do you really? Yes, okay. I think it's hilarious. Good. But for people who haven't seen us, give us a little bit of background about what it's about. Excused is a half hour comedy dating show brought to you by the makers of Blind Date. Mm -hmm. So it's that same kind of irreverent look at love and dating. And it's basically. It's a show where people try to impress one another in order to not be excused from this house that we film in. And uh, I'm the host, and it's my job to sort of guide these people through the annals of love, as it were, and make fun of them slash berate them the entire way. And that's the heart of the show. I love, I, I do, I love these dating shows. Is there a lot of the show that's scripted for you, or do you have kind of free reign to say whichever you want, whatever you want to say? I have free reign to say whatever I want to say, and the entire show, insofar as what I say, I make up on the spot. Every joke, it just kind of comes to me, and they've been really cool about letting me just kind of put my brand of comedy in there. So I'm really lucky because most comics, you know, you get a job and they give you lines and you have to say them. And for me, I just make up everything. Well, I think it just proves how quick-witted you are because you you always have something to say and it's hilarious. Um, has anybody shocked you? Have you ever had a guest? I, I imagine it'd be pretty hard to shock you. Yeah. But is there anybody who's come on and just it's been, well, a little much? Sure. It happens often, actually, you know, because you expect everyone to, you know, maybe ham it up for the cameras a bit or or, you know, try to act extra sexy. And then every once in a while, I'll take a left turn. Like, we had a guy slap a guy one time. No one saw that coming. Someone jumped up one time and hit their head on a ceiling fan. Like, just, like, little things that, mm -hmm. you know, or anytime somebody gets really drunk, that's always a treat because <laughs> it's like, you knew you were coming on TV. Act yes. accordingly. Or maybe that is accordingly nowadays. I don't know. Oh, you're like, you're just giving me the line. Oh, yeah. Like, thank you. We had one girl first season who, it was, like, the first week, she just, and I didn't know what I was doing. She just got wasted and started crying and knocking things over and, threatening one of the daters and I was like you won't remember this in the morning so just but we will <laughs> so that's about easy. right yeah <laughs> anything that would make you excuse somebody like what would be your thing if you saw someone what would you excuse someone what for wouldn't I excuse someone <laughs> over I'm so picky uh, you gotta have the right shoes if you're a guy any girl will tell you that you walk in wearing sketchers there will be no date <laughs> um, what else oh bad facial hair chin strap yeah I appreciate that it's a some sort of facial signature to <laughs> say wh who you are and where you're from but maybe we don't do that take it easy on the on the bad jewelry if you're a guy if you're going to the Aldo men's jewelry section for your jewelry purchases maybe that's not something that you do uh, for girls I think, I mean, we shoot in L.A., so most girls need to just take it down a notch. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, I've got a shirt just showing my boobs and a lot of fake hair in right now. So. You're fine, you're fine. You're not over the top. I think for guys, it's more about looks, and for girls, it's more about personality. Mm -hmm. Like, no one's interested in the fact that you're a gold digger or what your last boyfriend bought you or anything mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. just try not to come off as so shallow, and guys, try to come off as more attractive. Maybe take your shirts off. We'll all get along just fine. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, I also want to go back to talking a little bit about you're in town for the shows, and so tell us yes. what people can look forward to this weekend. I'll be at the House of Comedy this weekend, which is in the Mall of America, which I've yet to visit, but I, I've brought my walking shoes. I'm very excited to visit all the Auntie Anne's pretzel stores that they have. Oh, yeah, you can just do laps there. Yeah. It's a good place. I'm going to do that, and so I'll be there Thursday through Sunday, and tickets are available via my website, iliza.com, or they can go to the House of Comedy website. Good. Well, everyone will have to go check you out. And I think we're going to go tweet a picture now. <gasps> I love it. And Blanche, we're going to tweet on your on your Twitter account. You like to tweet, don't you? I love to tweet. It's a lot of fun. And where can people follow you? People can follow me at Eliza, I-L-I-Z-A. Just at Eliza. And if you follow me, you get a daily Blanche picture that I send out every day. A bonus. A bonus. bonus maybe, we'll, maybe I'll make it today. Perfect. <gasps> okay, Which well, thank you so much. It was thank great you. to meet Yay. you. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for watching.